All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to feminists try to weaponize religion against Andrew. Podcast cool instead. Jump in. In this clip, you said something to the effect of, like, if I don't want to talk about it, I don't give a I think you should view your partner respectfully Wait, enough to always on, include them. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> so I kind of got the impression that maybe, like, you don't include her at all and are just kind of like, which I, I obviously I know that it wouldn't be ever, but I kind of got the impression that maybe it's the majority of the case that you, like, don't have the discussion. And I think it's fine to have the ultimate say, but respect your partner enough to talk about it. But you clarified all that earlier, so. That's well, well, now now it's murky again, right? So, um, let's move back. I don't actually have an objection to a man being an authoritarian tyrant from your perspective in his relationship. It's uh, completely non-bothersome to me. I think it's fine. But you're a Christian. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you realize Christianity is a patristic faith? I understand that it it's says that the husband also has faith. duties to his wife well, too, yes, like that's loving correct. his wife, like Jesus loved the church, and mm -hmm. I don't think Jesus is like, I screw I'm you. I'm sorry, did have Jesus have to justify anything to the church? No, but he also, he talked to his disciples. Sure. Did and he have to justify anything to them? No, but that's, no. that goes back to the last. <laughs> so who's the leader? We don't disagree there. Okay, so if you're the leader and you say, well, you're leading me wrong, then who's the leader then? You? Hmm. If you're a Christian, the leader should be God. So if your husband is not leading mm -mm. in a biblical way, you don't you don't just submit mm -mm. to him and, and forego God. Right, Christ. Right. Head, the reflection in a marriage of the head yes. is the husband. Right. So, but and the if body, he's not leading hang on, in and a the body, way, the body is the woman, right? Sure, but if okay. he's not leading in a biblical that's way, that's not what Paul says. Paul doesn't say if they're not leading. What Paul says specifically is even if your husband's not leading in a biblical way, right, you should stay married to him anyway. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Well, that's what he says. But there's a lot of contradictions when it comes ah. to this. Well, then how, how could you... Nah, you but why are you using the Bible as a reference for the argument? Why are you using it? And then you're saying, nah, it's contradictory. Man, this is... But what they should do as Christians then, if you, do, if you believe Paul it's contradictory. Because Paul had more contradictions toward all of the other disciples than any of them. So, but There's no contradictions. You don't think? No. Okay. We should take no, notes every, on all the things we're going to come back yeah, to. Yeah, every, every, every biblical contradiction can easily be reconciled. And most of it is because you don't have contextualization. You read the Bible like it's an Ikea manual. It's not. Right? You have to I take, don't read the Bible that way. Yeah, I mean, how else could you read it? You read it like it's a living word. Of? Everything. Uh, uh, uh. Of what does life. that mean? How, what, what, you're the interpreter, right? Yes. Okay, so how else do, would you read it other than an Ikea manual? Well, you have manual? to read it with like historical context who it's being spoken to okay all of the things okay so then these you would agree that these contradictions that you state can be easily reconciled i think usually i don't i'm not a biblical scholar so yeah. i can't pretend but when it that comes, i know all of them but when them. it comes to paul yeah paul said stay married anyway right but here's why he said that he said because uh even if you're staying married to this person who's they fallen might, away it's the chances that back. they find their way back yes. uh, is much higher so the, here's the thing right Here's but the, then, like, what if they don't? Here's the, here's the idea. The idea, and I'll just give you the logical exercise, and you can see if you can correct it or hand it back to me. Okay. The idea is this. There can only be a leader, one leader. You agree, right? I think... Um, if you're both leaders, then neither are leaders. I think we can tag team. No, 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 no. And I'll, this I'll is... Here. Yeah, this, so. is, this is why she's single, folks. And I will tell you why this is single. This is not single because she decided to be single. It's because the guy that she wants, which is it's going to be a leader, is not going to allow her to do this. She only, she only leaves in the last video that we saw. She only leaves those guys that are willing to say, you know what? Yes, we can tag him. No, no, no. We can, you know, share our leadership. Those are the guys that she's leaving. The guy that is saying, no, I'm the leader. That's the guy that she wants. The reason she's going back and forth in with Andrew and wasting her time is in reality she's attracted to this kind of behavior. That's what it is, folks. That's what it is. That's why she's going back and forth. In my opinion. Okay, if you're a four-star general, you're not in charge of another four-star general, but you're in charge of all three-star generals, right? Okay. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay, so there's one leader. And then... Here, there's one fo one person who's following the leader, correct? Do you agree sure. with that? Okay, so any time the follower of the leader says, you aren't leading me right, so no, who's now in charge? Who's the leader now? Okay, so but let's say in, in, in one example, 
let's say the Christian husband suddenly becomes pagan and is like, we're not doing this anymore. What we're not Paul going say? to church. What did Paul say? Yeah. He said to stay he, married, but he this. Might stay but married, this is, but that doesn't mean that you have to follow on. the leadership on in that regard. Though. I think that, and this is explained very well in orthodoxy, and the reason I bring up Paul is just because I think it's really funny to use that example against people who are naysayers, but um, it has to comport with reason. And so reason, your husband can't tell you to sin. He can't tell you to go do a gang day. Exactly. He can't tell you to go blow. He can't tell you to go blow other men so for his mm-hmm. own personal meal. He can't tell you to do any of that stuff, okay? Right. Great. What about if he just says, ah, shut up. I'm not going to justify anything to you. What's the sin? <clears throat> oh, I'm not saying it's sinful. Well, then what's the problem? Uh, there we you go. don't like it, right? <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, though, is like, like I said, honest in, you can't point to anything he's doing wrong, right? It's just you don't like it. And so when people, people say, well, that's not very Christian, when I point out, ah, it, I'm going to give you the 2,000 years of history where it sure looked pretty Christian. Um, I would just like to note, how is it not? I mean, I guess technically it could be, but I was speaking in the context of like your relationship dynamic and. Why, what what, what me, would my personal relationship I guess it dynamic have to do with much, anything? But that's where the initial thing came from because I heard mm. you say that and I was like, oof, are you really like, you, are you really doing that? Yeah, sometimes I'm. Ah, happy. there you go. This is so interesting, man. This is so interesting. You see how she reacted to that? Are you really doing that? He has balls. Yes, he's doing it. Yes, he's doing it. That in itself sparked a little bit of interest. There's a reason why she's spending even the emotional energy to go back and forth with Andrew. I'm not saying she's attracted to Andrew, but there's some IOI indicators of interest at the same time. And you notice that she's the only one going back and forward. She's very intrigued to that because she's attracted to that type of energy. To tell her, shut up, in my opinion. Absolute tyrant. I'm like, I believe it. I go, I don't fucking care. Sometimes I, I don't care. And that's fine. I don't have to care. So the thing is, is, but I'm going to take this a step further and say that men who are running their marriage, right? If... If they if they are like, look, I really don't want to consult you about, I don't know, almost anything. Uh, I I don't actually see a problem with that. Do you think that maybe that contributes to like divorce rates and the fact? Uh, well, that first no. of all, I don't like even think it happens that much. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. In fact, I'd say if it happened more, it would decrease divorce rates probably. Mm. Double down. If they were like, uh, if they just Double came in down. a patronizing parent, were like, oh, honey, shut the fuck up. It's under control, <laughs> right? I think it would actually decrease divorces rather than coming in and well, being like. I can't like, argue that being hypothetical. Like, being like, oh, oh, I have so much anxiety from work, right? Just saying. Oof. I mean, I don't fully disagree there, actually. There we go. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Why did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Females are not going to admit what they are attracted to. It's your job as a man to figure that shit out. That's what happened. The reason she's going back and forth because she want to know more. Hmm? She want to know more. Who, who is this guy? How the hell he got to that, you know, state of mind to just... Tell his wife to shut up. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. First of all, masculinity is a real thing, folks. Masculinity is a real thing. And when you're in tune with your masculinity, right? It's your job. It's your job to lead your woman. And the way you lead your woman is to tell her the truth. Do you want her to shut up? You tell her to shut up. You know how to explain yourself. What happened when you start playing yourself? You start losing. And then now, now you're in a position of a defense. How you guys try that? How you guys been in a conversation where this person just keep asking questions? You're like, what the hell? You want to shut it down, but you can't? No, you can't because you're already in. And sometimes you have to tell people to shut the hell up. I don't need to explain myself to you. I don't give a damn if you like it or not. That's what's going on right now. And that's what happened. And at the end, 
She said what? I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Very important. Back and forward. Cultural topic that's kind of rampant on TikTok right now, and it's that women don't want to have to make decisions. It's the idea of the passenger princess. Like you want to be able to sit pretty and like let the man lead. So I think there's kind of merit to both of what you're saying. But I, I mean, I agree with that. Nah, that's a yeah. talking point. The one person that I did go on dates with is because they were like, "We're gonna go shooting at this time. Make sure you wear closed-toed shoes, whatever, whatever." And as a mom, aunt, who also solely is the sole financial provider. I, you're right. I don't, you don't have think. to think. Tell mm -hmm. me what we're doing. But do it nicely because I'm not going to deal with a condom. Why? Exactly. There we go. Just you have to go back to, um, but do it nicely. No, man. And F that. Oh, I yeah. can't take the tone. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. The tone. I mean, I don't. It's terrible. You, I'll, wake up in the middle, I'll wake up in the middle of the night, though, and like smack you and be like, oh, my God. I had a dream you were cheating. It's like, oh, the tone's fine then, right? No, I don't do that shit. But do oh, you, come on. Do you You've never done that shit? No, but do you listen okay, to whatever. Bill Burr because you kind of like. You seem like you listen to Bill Burr. Nah. I like some Bill Burr stuff. Yeah, yeah. okay. He's all right. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Bill Burr is okay. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. See you in the next one.